Joining us now is Steve Forbes, chairman and executive editor of Forbes Media, also a former Republican presidential candidate. Nice to see you, Steve. Good, Good morning. Good to see you, Rebecca. So we just heard from Art that he doesn't think this is 2008 over again. What do you think? It's not 2008, but it's still a short-term serious crisis. There's very real concern about the value of the dollar. Fed's made it clear it's going to knock it down again. That's going to hurt uh, private investment in this country. Concern that the Europeans are not dealing with their sovereign debt crises, not to mention their banks. Twenty years ago, we had a severe crisis with Latin American debt, which could have brought our system down. We dealt with each country dealt with the, how do you turn this thing around, restructured their debt, put in policies that got these countries growing again. The Europeans are not doing it, and people fear the drift. It keeps coming back to debt. I mean, people remember the 2008 crisis. That one was about debt as well. Another thing Art mentioned is that the markets were spooked yesterday, and you mentioned this as well, by this fear that a European bank could go the same way as a Bear Stearns or a Lehman Brothers did here in the United States. Do you think that will happen? I think short term, the uh, European Central Bank will make sure that doesn't happen. The French government will make sure that doesn't happen short term. But that doesn't get around the fact these leaders have to start acting like leaders and do systemic changes to get these countries and these institutions back on their feet. You have to restructure the debt, recognize you're going to have to take losses. And here at home, our central bank, the Federal Reserve, has got to stop trashing the U.S. dollar. It has not worked for two and a half years. Do you think then, if, if the Federal Reserve were to stop, for example, trashing the U.S. dollar, they would have to raise interest rates in order to do that? And that would make the cost of borrowing go up for people like you and me, anyone who wants to get a home loan. Is, is there a possibility that in order to get past this, we have to endure some near-term pain as consumers in the United States? We're going through the pain now with the unemployment that we have, the lack of a fundamental investing we're having in this country to get a real recovery. Small businesses aren't playing the role they should. So in terms of strengthening the dollar, it doesn't mean interest rates soar. What it means is you stop subsidizing government debt, stop subsidizing debt for big companies, and allow a flow of capital again to small businesses and to people who get an economy moving. So uh, it would have the opposite effect. A stable dollar would bring in capital, and it also allows savers to get a return, especially the elderly. Mm -hmm. Incomes have been hit by $400 billion by this low interest rate policy. $400 billion of income for consumers that, that's been lost. So this policy has not worked. Let's go with something we know historically does work. We've seen this movie before, and it can have a happy ending if these people get it right. We've seen another movie playing out in Washington, though, and that is a stalemate. No matter what's on the table, nothing gets done. Do you think there's the political will to do anything right now? They'll do uh, some things in the next few months, but I think in a very messy way, this messy democracy we have, the ship of state is starting to turn. It's not a pleasant thing to see going through all these convulsions, but there's now consensus emerging. We must reform our convoluted tax code. And I'll give you one prediction that will sound astonishing today, but because of what the Fed has done to the dollar, I think in the next few years you're going to see something happen that hasn't happened since the 1970s, and that is a relinking of the dollar to gold. Big things are starting to happen. Start small, and then it's going to get big. In a few years, this nightmare will be behind us. Steve Forbes, appreciate you being with us today. Thank, Thank you, you, Rebecca.